All right, here we are in a, a nice uh, 03 King Ranch F350. She's a beaut, it's in real nice shape. Body's fantastic, no rust or, you know, a few little repairs here and there, but it's been well taken care of. You could say that for its age, well taken care of. Got a couple of nice little features, you know, the little chrome strips, nice steps on it, you know, a very clean interior. Overall, it's a, it's a, it's a good truck, right? It's, it's worth, worth doing something with. So obviously the cab's up. Um, we gave it a compression test. The compression was uh, really good, you know, like it varied maybe 20 PSI, but that's just tough to say if it's a little wet or dry or whatever the case is. Um, you know, still well within that, uh, you know, over 300 range. You know, it's, it's always nice to see 380, but we had about, you know, 340, you know, 360, right, all the way across. So nice and even, good even wear. Um, front cover looks great, nice, dry. Uh, the belt came off, belt looked good, the tensioners felt real good. You, uh, the dual alternator setup, uh, I tested both alternators. They were both outputting like over 14 volts. So it's like crazy um, awesome amounts of power that's running out of this thing. The turbo looks like it's been uh, worked on, rebuilt. It's nice and clean and no heat shield, but you know, I don't always put that on either. Um, down in the valley, um, it's just, it's, it's nice. It's really clean. I don't think we'll even bother touching the oil cooler, honestly. It, it's uh, got a real interesting uh, EGR delete. I've seen a couple of those, and uh, I, you know what? I never see them leak, so it must be good. Just a hose running through. Um, the downpipe's been replaced. It's, uh, the up pipes have been replaced as well. These are the real nice MBRPs, so... That's uh, that's good, you know. So that those things seal up great. They're nice to work with. Um, got a bit of an issue over here. The uh, you know exhaust is really rotted out there. Eh? Um, still got a cat on it, so you know uh, aftermarket muffler. So uh, it did seem okay, you know. Some it, I don't know. I, I drove it a little bit. It seemed a little bit sluggish. Um, I noticed too on the uh, fuel pump here, these O3 fuel pumps, yeah, you know, they say that they're, they go or they're weak, but I don't know, someone looks like they got a, a water drain in there, which is kind of cool, and you know, it's kind of sees it's, looks like it's stock, right, you know, usually once you pull these off, someone's gonna bend one of those tabs or something, right, so I kind of see a, I don't know what's going on there, that's an extra kind of a little plug-in, I'll investigate that further. I don't see anything leaking out of the back. Um, the IPR and ICP, you know, it doesn't look like they're leaking. They look old and being that they're in sh such a shitty location, you know, that's kind of one of the trade-offs sometimes a guy wants to make, you know, like let's replace those two sensors because they're the ones that are gonna shut you down. And it's not like the 05, so you can just reach over to that ICP off the valve cover and unplug it and, you know, maybe fix a sensor problem or whatever, right? But uh, yeah, uh, you know, is what it is. All these glow plugs look terrible. They look real burnt out. They need to be replaced. Um, you know, this module too, right? If it's an 03 module, I would uh, even put a better good used one on and or keep one with you. Uh, everything look good here. Yeah, that uh, leak there, that's for me wrapping the power steering line around and it's spilling, you know. That's my arch nemesis is that power steering lifting these cabs. My God, gets everywhere. But uh, uh, the turbo, I uh, gave her a squeeze in there. Looks good, right? Uh, looks like that is kind of an aftermarket cap on that uh, fuel bowl there. So it's probably got a pressure regulator spring, the blue spring, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, the coolant looked relatively nice and clean. Spun over real nice. The front end, um, well, it's obviously it's missing backing plates, right? It's missing backing plates all the way around. Uh, notice the uh, front end here. We've got, you know, Zerks on all the stuff, right? Looks like a bit, you know, that's a problem with the Zerks is people just pump them up and blow the seal out, then they fill up with water anyways, right? So, but the front end still did feel okay. Felt felt pretty good. I, I thought uh, there was a complaint about the, the axle joint or something making noise, but uh, I don't know. The U joints feel okay, right? You know, the, even the, the the drive shaft seems okay, right? But I, I really didn't get a chance to 
you know, drive it or anything. And it needs to be taken apart anyways to fix the backing plate. It has to have one of those backing plates on it, for sure. Right? DOT, uh, they don't like that. They know that it's supposed to be there. It should be there. Moving on to the e-brake system. Uh, man, I like, like those e-brake disconnectors. I, I need those because they're such a pain in the ass, the newer style ones. Those, it just pops right out. But you can see the cable is, you know, like, well, literally hanging on by a thread. And uh, over on the back side here, you know, we're, we're missing... Uh, we're missing backing plates as well and it's it, it's done it's rusted it's, it, the whole brakes in the back here everything cables right has to be replaced or it won't pass a roadside those calipers i can guarantee you they're going to be sticky in there uh there's not much for pad this rotor looks absolutely terrible there's new shocks in the back new shocks in the front too so someone's been taking care of that um we had talked about this uh wiring repair here on the trailer hitch Yeah, so this uh, this ID brake system, everything, it's it, it's equally, it, it's no good, and and that's a uh, you know axle out, right? Uh, hub has to come out, so basically we'll have to dismantle this whole rear section here, and uh, you know obviously we'll just pop the cap there, clean all that all out. I don't see any you know pressurizing issues or anything, but we'll clean that out anyways. Uh, yeah, no pinion seal leaks. The springs look okay. They're a little bit dirty. There might be a little crack in there that I don't see. So, uh, you know, when I'm in there screwing around with the brakes and stuff like that, I'll, uh, I'll have a peek and, you know, like stuff like, like all these little mounts and stuff have to be all hooked up. And this has brake lights on and funny braking stuff. It's all kind of zip tied together, right? So, you know, it's... It just needs to be addressed, right? That's all, right? It can't be patched again. Um, well, you know, I think that pretty much covers it anyways. The, you know, give her a studden and uh, see what we can save. Ideally, put a nice good set of injectors. This truck, with that good compression, all this nice exhaust work done... A good turbo like that, you know, this this thing should really haul ass, you know, and pull pull anything. So why not put a new set of injectors in it? It's just going to love it, right? So it'll be like a brand new truck again. That's what's nice about these. If you put injectors in them, they feel like brand new trucks. So the transmission fluid looked good. Don't see any leaks on that. I didn't really drive it on the road or anything. So, uh, you know, that's a concern. That's a concern. Chinese are cheap. So, yeah, other than that, a uh, little bit of rust in the back here, you know, that was pretty apparent, but, uh, you know, you can see up in the box right there, you know, maybe we can do a, you know, kind of a temporary repair if you were to put a trailer hitch in here or something like that, but if you're just towing off the bumper, you know, put a good solid chunk of plywood down there just to stop it from, you know, getting worse, maybe spray something, I don't know, right, but, uh, yeah, other than that, right, beautiful truck, worth working on, and uh, that's kind of our initial general inspection. I guess the next inspection will come, uh, you know, when the heads come off, right, check the pistons. Uh, usually before the heads come off, what I'll do is take the valve covers off, have a good look at the valve train and everything like that, and then uh, run shop air into the IPR valve hole. And then I can see if there is any kind of minor leaks or anything coming out of the high pressure hoses. And, you know, and those O3s, they're pretty good. Usually you just see pump problems, but I'm willing to bet with some of the work I've seen done here, it's either had a pump before or a good aftermarket one. But, uh, but again, when I air it up, I'll usually hear it come out of the pump as well. So that's, uh, that'll be pretty much it, right? Um, yeah, we're going to get going on this one. It's going to work good.